Hey everybody, Brian Boyle here, and welcome to episode 139 of the Mesh Tongue. It's another day, end of the week. It is Friday. I'm heading to Hawaii next week, so stay tuned for the live on location episodes. We'll be sharing all sorts of fun stuff with you out in Hawaii. And um, yeah, anybody got any big plans for this weekend? Leave them down below. Let me know how things are going. Tell me what uh, what you're up to, what you're getting into. I know Ogden Marathon is tomorrow, half marathon, 5K, 10K. Have fun. Be safe out there, folks. And uh, hey, enjoy. Good luck to to everyone that's uh, that's running. If you're running a race this weekend, good luck to you, no matter where you're at. That's bringing me to the topic of today. Anybody out there running as a race bandit? You outlaws, crazy people. Come on, folks. You know, if you're gonna run the damn race, pay for the race. Okay, this is this is crazy. I was just on a, a Facebook forum um, and just watching some people talking about. You know, they didn't necessarily see if it was right or wrong. They just kind of thought it was like, eh, it's not really stealing if you just go out and you run the race, even if you don't take anything. You don't take the water. You don't take all this stuff. The downside of it is that the race director had all this time to put together all this stuff. Um, it is a form of entertainment in a sense of, you know, there are all these other people who have paid for their race entry. So if you just jump in the race or if you swap, some races have the ability to swap bibs. If they do, then great. Pay the person who bought the bib, swap the bib, do the right thing. If you're just going to hop in the race, um, well, shame on you. Shame on you. I know anybody that's watching this probably isn't going to you know, jump in uh, to a race that uh, you know, they hadn't paid for. Um, but just just in case if you wanted to pass this along to somebody, if they are uh, the type of person that would do that. I'm a race director. I'm a runner. Okay. Uh, I can honestly say I've never, ever, ever just jumped in a race uh, without paying and without having the... Uh, uh, the, the, the proper bib, okay, uh, that was assigned to me, uh, the bib for the race, you know, so on and so on. So do the right thing, folks. Uh, you know, these things do cost money. They, uh, it's an awful lot of money sometimes, depending on the city and the location, if they've got to shut down streets, if they've got to take, um, you know, all sorts of things into consideration. They've got live music, uh, this, this venue, depending on if they have to rent space. Uh, I can tell you they are not cheap. Anybody want to rent something in downtown Salt Lake and close off the streets and have the police there? You're looking at about uh, about six to ten thousand dollars bare minimum. It is uh, and that's just Salt Lake, pretty crazy. So when you're looking at these races and, and the even bigger cities, um, you know it uh, it does add up. So that's it for today. That's my uh, that's my preacher on the soapbox. I am uh, I am out. Hey. Whatever you do, don't go hurting yourself to come back. But when you find value in these videos, please share them with your friends and family, your training partners. I appreciate the support. If you got any questions, send it to me, Brian, B-R-I-A-N, at company5k, that's the number 5k.com. I'll be happy to get back to you. And until tomorrow, I will see you again. Take care.